As the world tentatively recovers from the pandemic, democracy is still ailing. Hit by a decade of democratic setbacks and exacerbated by states of health emergencies, the world is becoming more authoritarian. Even democracies are adopting authoritarian tactics, often with popular support, through the likes of media manipulation and politicization of judiciaries. Many elected leaders have helped normalize this through polarizing social media and disinformation campaigns. At the same time, authoritarian regimes have used more repressive tactics in their efforts to remain in power. More than two-thirds of the world's population live either in countries where democratic freedoms are under threat or in non-democratic regimes. Still, while democracy is down, it is certainly not out. Pro-democracy movements have made valiant stands in places like Belarus, Myanmar, and Cuba. Research has debunked the myth that authoritarian regimes are better at addressing the pandemic. But recovering from the global pandemic and addressing the pressing challenges of our time, like climate change, will require a renewal of democracy. International IDEA proposes a three-point agenda for this renewal. We call on governments to ensure democracies deliver new social contracts, rebuild institutions to protect electoral integrity and fundamental rights, and prevent threats through investments in education, independent media, and civil society. The next few years will be a crucial time for our planet. Hard choices must be made, and these decisions will be more effective if made through democratic processes and rights. But democracies must renew themselves. Join us in renewing democracy. Act now by reading our latest report on the global state of democracy and by learning about our global state of democracy data and analysis at www.idea.int forward slash GSOD.